Tennessee is observing July as Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Governor Bill Haslam made a proclamation earlier this month to get help get the word out. Right now we're joined by Dr. Betsy Washburn. She's a surgical breast oncologist at the Mary Ellen Local Breast Center at CHI Memorial. Doctor, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. Tell us first of all, what is different about this specific type of cancer? So metastatic breast cancer is when breast cancer leaves the breast and goes somewhere else. And typically that's bone, lung, liver, or brain uh, for breast cancer. So um, much different and technically not curable. How is it diagnosed? There's really two ways. First is a woman that get, comes in, has a mammogram, abnormality, diagnosed for breast cancer, and then they work her up, do a systemic workup and say, mm -hmm. well, there's breast cancer already somewhere else. So that's at her original diagnosis. More commonly, it's a woman who's been treated maybe months, years ago, comes in with new symptoms, and it turns out it's shown up somewhere else. And what are those symptoms um, for, for women at home? Sure. So it depends on where it's gone to. So for bone, it's bone pain. It's new, mm -hmm. severe pain that's a new onset lung typically a dry cough a lot of times not any symptoms for liver uh, and then brain some pretty obvious vision changes headaches uh, difficulty walking and then some fierce yeah. it's really fierce how what strides have been made as far as treatment Sure. Um, is concerned. So it used to be medically, it, it's still all medical treatment for the most part, but it was always just chemotherapy was really our mainstay. And now the therapies have become much more targeted. So they're still medical, but they're targeted to specific proteins and um, parts of the cancer cell that we don't have on our normal cells. And so the treatments aren't as toxic. Mm -hmm. So women who have metastatic breast cancer now can go through therapy for years and years, wow. be treated, get through a functioning life, sometimes work. So um, the treatments are less toxic and actually work better. And talk to us too about mammograms. I know that there's a lot of um, confusion sometimes with women when they should start getting mammograms and how often that should happen. For the standard population, we still recommend at 40 starting to get your mammograms on a yearly basis. If you've got a family member who had breast cancer uh, earlier than 40 or earlier than 50, really we recommend 10 years younger than that person. So if your mother had breast cancer at 45, you need to start at 35 yearly. Yeah. And most important information. Just yeah, get absolutely. that information. Yeah. Don't put it off. No. Right. Thank doctor. you, Doctor. You're so welcome. much. Appreciate your time. with us.